When I was looking for a college, I was looking for something small, and I was looking for something in Iowa that would be close enough to where I could come back home if I needed to, but not something where I was going home every weekend. And as it turned out, I didn't go home every weekend, quite far from it. Um, so that's how I came up on UIU. I went into my counselor's office at school and I found the little booklet that they used, you know, schools used to put out years ago. And um, I started looking at it and I said, wow, this looks like a place I think I might like. I had to go two weeks early for football. So my dad was gonna drive me up there and uh, he, um, he said, well, would you like your girlfriend to drive along with you? I said, oh yeah, that'd be nice. You know, so drove up there. I was the first person to spend a night in, in Maltby. Oh my gosh, I was the only one in there. First night. So my dad <coughs> he's got one suitcase, I got the other suitcase. We go up to the room, put it down. My dad said, well, you know, I gotta get back. I said, okay, so we walked down. I gave the girl a hug, gave my dad a hug. They drove off. I'm looking around. Now what? It just all worked out. I just ended up, yeah, I'm gonna go to Upper Iowa University. And I liked that it was small. I felt like I could get to know people and get to know the faculty members. And I felt like they really cared about you as a student. Um, I like that I could go in and talk to my advisor, like practically any time of the day almost. And they just, like I said, they just really cared about you and cared about your schooling. And I just made so many great friends at Upper Iowa over the years. I still have friends that I still am hanging out with and it's great. It was, it was a tremendous experience. Uh, being from the city of Chicago and going out to uh, cornfields. Um, it was a change, but it was a change for the better. I enjoyed it. It was um, enlightening, <laughs> to put it that way. I'm originally from Hawaii, and so I'm a bit far away from home. So this is honestly the closest experience that I've had to that kind of Hawaii feel to it, because back home we put a lot of emphasis on family. And being at Upper Iowa, this is probably the closest thing that I've had or experienced to having a family far away from home. So I do appreciate this community, the school, and even just the town in general. Everybody here has been wonderful and has made my experience exponentially better than it has in the previous years. It feels seen by the faculty staff on this campus. I can walk through any building here and have somebody that works here see me and say, oh, hey, Abby, how are you doing? And so it really just makes a world of a difference when you feel like you are an individual person that they see and they know you versus if there was thousands of people here and you walk by and they're like, oh, you're just some student. And that's all there is to it. The relationships that are built at this university that can take you so far in life, being able to know the people on this campus and have them speak on your behalf in the future and help you develop your life, it really just, I think it makes a huge difference. I think that's what a lot of Upper Iowa is about. I know there's a school there, a physical school and a campus and everything, but it's really about the people, the people that I met while I was there, the uh, friendships that I've kept, the relationships that I've built with other people along the way, I've loved also reconnecting with other alumni at homecoming and our reunions. And I've loved connecting with alumni that I didn't know when I went to Upper Iowa. And it's just, it's just neat. Like I say, it's really about the people. I think inside all of us, we want this place to be a better place. And the only way we can do it, I think, is, is through education. People got to start thinking a little bit more. We got to start thinking about other people, not just ourselves. Because, I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's, a, it's all about people. I, I've always given to my church, so that was always something I did even as a young person. So I think this just kind of, you know, came along with that as this is something that means something to me. It's important to me. And giving back to Upper Iowa, it, it's important to me to support it. Yeah. Every year I would I'd call up the football coach and ask them what they needed. And 
and he said, well, I need this and then this, and I said, okay. And so I would send him a check, and I sometimes I couldn't buy the whole thing, but it, I'd say, okay, this is for, and I'd earmark it for a football team, for locking sleds or, or uniforms or something like, like that. And then and that was Al Fisher. And then Al left, and um, I don't know, I kind of lost a couple of years in there, and I said, well, I got to start. I kept getting things in the mail, and I said, well, okay. And I started doing it. I got a great education, I felt, that my science uh, faculty members were wonderful. Doc Coleman and Lou Cherbuck, they were just two really great guys, and I um, got a wonderful education through them and a wonderful education through all my other teachers as well. I, but I really do have to have a little shout out to them. And it's important for me to support uh, the sciences for sure. So SPC is a fairly new organization here on campus. It's kind of, we're bringing it back to life. Um, it's kind of, it's been around for a little bit, but we kind of transitioned into being called the Student Philanthropy Council within the past few years or so. And this past year, a few projects that got approved and that, that we were able to help with would be the Peacock Pantry and the sensory room here inside of the library. As far as uh, previous projects and things like that, I'd say they'd kind of go more towards the betterment of campus, whether that be building gardens, helping pay for radio station equipment for the radio station that we have here on campus. Of course, there's still plenty more projects that we'd like to contribute to in the future as well. Ultimately, every project that we're working on is for the students, so if they help give back, then it'll help give us more opportunities to have more projects that we can work on to just overall help the school. Overall, I love this campus so much. Um, I know that from like the first time I even stepped on campus on my first visit day, um, all I want to do is see the campus succeed and if we can play any role in that and part of our organization. I wanted to join SPC because I like to do as many things as I can to help give back to the people in my lives and the communities that I'm surrounded in. And this just seemed like another way that I could get involved and give back to this campus because it really is like a nice, happy place for me. I enjoy being here and I want to make it better and enjoyable for other people. I, I want to see my college still standing for years and years to come. Um, it's a great institution. Um, so why wouldn't you want to support it? and? make that part of your giving and your, you know, your giving back, I think. I think it's important for everybody to give back, what, no matter what it is, too. Let's, let's do the, the bare, bare minimum. Do $5 a week, that's $20 a month times 12. What's that, 20 times 12, $240? That's not a lot of money. But if we get 100 people to do that, and some people do, a, Ten dollars a month, or some ten dollars a week, and some people do twenty-five. I mean, it's it's a snowball, and it's once you start it, and it and it you get in the habit, and it's just all part of of, of your everyday life that you don't think anything of it. It's just an automatic. I still love to give back to the community, and even if it's not much, I would like to continue to be someone that can come back to UIU and even if it's a small amount, be able to contribute to this university because it is something I love. And I'm from near here, so I hope to be able to come back and see this campus often because I love Fayette. I mean, I'm sure every single alumni has something that they loved and then didn't love so much about this university. And so as donors, we have that ability to kind of make that change that we wish we had or like that thing that we wish we had at Upper Iowa when we were here. You have the opportunity to help better campus for students and prospective students to give them that experience that you didn't get to have when you were here. And so I know that once I graduate, I definitely want to help give back because I love Upper Iowa. It does have so many great qualities about it, especially, but are there things here and there that I wish could be better? Of course. And that's why I helped join Student Philanthropy Council so I could help make this experience better for future students as well. Things were pretty limited when I was there in the 80s, and it was a, a tough time, I know, for the school. And I know the school almost closed, I think I believe the year or two after I graduated. And um, the thought of that, it was really sad to me to think that I wouldn't have anywhere to go back for homecoming or for a reunion or anything. So I think that's probably what 
kind of prompted me to start giving and to start supporting the school back when I did. Everybody's got wonderful memories. So think about the memories, <laughs> you know, and say, I'd like to have somebody else share those memories, share those times that we had. I look forward to continuing to go back to campus and participate in events and um, meet with old classmates and yeah, just continue the traditions that we've had and, and make new traditions too. I'm sure the school will, you know, have new ones as you go along, just like with anything else. So that'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. Well, I honestly think that all of us want, to, want this place that we call home, the earth, um, the world, to be, to be a better place. Uh, better living conditions, better education, better everything for everybody. And the only way to do that is to invest in education. Education is the key to everything. And if you don't have the education where you're getting a quality education, you're getting a nice, a good physical plan, you've got good professors, you've got good courses, you've got labs. And that only comes from people investing in education, and that's investing in the colleges that you want to. And I, I, I firmly believe that. We've got to make this place better when we leave it than what it was. And that's basically why I do it. Now, the other thing, of course, is <clears throat> I had four great years at Upper Iowa and uh, wanted to give something back.